Bishop, normally a town we're known for just passing through. We decided to stay in the town of Bishop. We actually went through there to the ancient bristlecone pine forest one time, but this will be our first time actually staying in Bishop. So in this video, I'll show you some of the simple things to do in Bishop. Followed up with a second video showing you more of nature and the outdoors and all the beauty it have to offer outdoors. So check out this video on just some of the basic simple things to do in the town of Bishop. Now our first stop was the Bishop Visiting Center and I'd recommend that to be anybody's first stop. With uh, it being a visiting center, you know you're gonna get your information, packets about local lakes, uh, trails, and hikes. But this just isn't any visiting center, it's Creekside. So you also got special things like, you know, feeding the ducks. Uh, they'll provide you with uh, duck food. Um, you know, there's a playground for the kids. You know, to the west, you got the Sierra Nevada Mountains. And to the east, you got the White Mountains. So it's also just a spot with cool scenic views that's just chill and eat lunch or relax and come up with a game plan. Um, so I recommend stopping at the visiting center just to, you know, pregame what you want to do in Bishop. Now after getting information at the visiting center and having a long day just relaxing and taking in outdoors, we went to the back alley bowling grill. It was not too far from our room so we got settled and decided to get a bite to eat and have a family fun game of bowling. This place was cool and the food was pretty good. I recommend it if you're just in the town and you just want to just chill and get out and have some fun with your family. Getting up that next morning, we decided to get early and go to Schatz Bakery, known as Eric Schatz Bakery. Now, going through Bishop so many times, I've drove through and seen this place packed, long lines, so I never had the chance to stop. 
So this venture, we decided to get up as early as we can, only being, what, a few blocks from the bakery and get up and try to see what this place was about. After getting our bakery, we decided it's time to get lunch. We didn't get lunch at the bakery. We just wanted to get a few items. So we wanted a smoothie. Uh, I decided to get a wrap, trying to be healthy. Um, the kids got smoothies, my wife got smoothies, and we we're on our way to head to South Lake. Man, after a beautiful drive, we finally got as far as we can go to get to South Lake. It was closed off. Uh, I think you have to hike two miles to actually get to the lake. Uh, with having my kids with me, that's just an adventure I didn't want to do. So we just decided to turn back around. Well, just looking at the snow-capped mountains and all the beauty on the way, that was good enough for us this time. Maybe we'll try again in the summer. Um, that's probably more of a time we would like to be at the lake anyway. But we just figured since we were so close, we'd try to check it out. That's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, it's just a few things to do in Bishop, very simple things. I will see you guys back in Bishop in the summertime where I'll give you guys some hikes and uh, more of some lakes and some grand views in nature. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you were just looking for the simple things to do in Bishop. Remember to love life, cherish life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>